Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Hello, and welcome to the first and only ever MCTV Middle Seats Debate. My name is Nathaniel Ungarini, and I'll be your moderator for tonight's debate. Our debatees are Mr. Ron Burgundy from Anchorman and Mr. The Dude from The Big Lebowski. Let's meet our contestants here. Starting with you, Mr. Burgundy. Opening statements, please. The buffoon brought a bodacious brass baboon to the buffet. That is all. All right. I we love scotch. <laughs> we shall move on Scotchy, to scotch, Mr. Scotch. The Dude. Down into my belly. Great to be here, Alex. Uh, man, can I get a bathroom break? No. I didn't go. That's too bad. <laughs> this is not, what is this, a communist society? I deserve a bathroom break. I get to pee wherever I want, man. All right, we'll count that as I was your the opening statement, and we will get started. So, <laughs> the format for tonight's debate will be a 30-second debate, uh, a person followed by a minute-long discussion. There will afterwards be a lightning round. Now, gentlemen, recent events have shaken the public's opinion of the decency of debates, so I want to emphasize the importance of appropriate language, good sportsmanship, and intelligent discussion throughout tonight. Hobo. With that in mind, our first question, yeah, yeah. starting with Mr. The Dude. Uh, Why is your movie the flipping best, and how much does the other one suck? Uh, Hello, my fellow Americans. I'm on TV because I'm the greatest. It is currently the dude's turn, Mr. Burgundy. Ah, uh, great Odin's Raven. Dude, That's my that opponent. In journalism school, apparently. Anyway, my movie's the greatest. First of all, movies aren't that great, period. I don't watch movies. I just look outside my backyard, and that's a movie. Life is a movie. But if we're talking about specifically my movie, it's got me in it, so that's what makes it great. My goodness. And look at his mustache. Like, you want to look at that for two hours? Please. Look at my hair. Me? Look at that for two hours. You look hours. like an uninvolved un ape, all right, all right, all right, female wannabe. Mr. Burgundy, Mr. Burgundy, you have to wait for your turn to speak. You <sighs> now have 30 seconds. Why is your movie the flipping best and the other ones suck? Why is my... Who, who is this man and why is he asking me such silly questions? My movie, I'm assuming you mean Anchorman, or do you mean Anchorman 2? Because I got a sequel. So, yes, I don't need to say anything else. It's just the funniest movie ever. All right, well, you now have a minute to discuss why you are right and why the other one is wrong. Go. See, the people in my movie have actually won Oscars, man. You got John Goodman, Please. who's nominated. Got Steve Buscemi in there, also nominated. John Please. Turturro, We man. have Brick. John Turturro we have did, Brick. John Turturro did three Transformers. This, this is man. true. They do have Brick. Did we have he? our we fact have, checkers he, on. We have Brick. He, he killed a guy. Who killed a guy in your movie? Hmm? Several people died hmm? in my movie, man. Please. John Goodman pulled out a gun at a right. bowling house. Oh, a gun? Brick had a trident. What happens with a the trident? trident? Who cares? You know what? Do I you even, know I was going to be debating a wild animal, man. Do you even play an instrument? part of the deal. Do you even play an instrument? Because I play jazz flute. Yeah, I play an instrument. What do you play? I play your mother that's what the instrument that i play and i you do leave her out of this to this language right now but everything that he's saying is i false. can't and i if I you want to fact this. check it tonight go to dot com he's my dealer he will tell you dealer. dot com you know he's what fact checker for you look like a big thor wannabe that's what you look like you look where did that mustache Idiot. come from i didn't know that you, they fermented worms you know what you take that back because this is homegrown unlike your your hair oh, would you get that at the, oh, the all right costume all right store? gentlemen we'll have to move uh, on to the next topic so, in the spirit of Halloween, many young adults and kids in the United States will be seeing movies that they should not be seeing because they are far too scary and they will probably poop their pants. So, starting with you, Mr. Burgundy. Yes. What is one movie that you've seen that you think is the scariest and scarred you for life as a child? The Big Lebowski. It was so bad, so, so bad that I can't watch you know anything what, else Alex, again. It was, do this the it was whole time. terrifying. Wait your turn. He terrifying. It was, they had a guy who just, it was all about a guy in his carpet. Who cares? I have a jazz flute. I have a beautiful wife. I even got a son in my second movie. Stay on topic. This is the one that big, has scarred big you the Lebowski. most Let me tell you about The Big Lebowski. I know about movies, and The Big Lebowski is not a movie. Did you want the best movies? It, I know the people who make the best All movies. All right, we are out of time, Mr. Burgundy. That's right. You don't strike me as the research type, man. Mr. Duder. I don't need it. I have the news. Same question. What movie do you think is the absolute scariest thing you've seen and scarred you for life as a kid? Thanks, Ivana. Um... I think I want to talk about a movie that I saw when I was young called The Brave Little Toaster. Wrong. The Big Lebowski scarier. 
Can we keep him under control? Mr. Burger, Man, you please stay under control here. if I had my muzzle with me, but I only realized I only have here. 20 seconds, or what, whatever we refer to as 20 seconds in these. Right, you're certainly taking minutes. up that time. Let's get along here. Okay, so the brave little toaster has a air conditioner who yells that it's my function. And, you know, it tries to kill people, man. Also wrong. Like, appliances come into life. That's what the 70s was about, man. Mm -hmm. By the way, why are there three of you right now? Hmm? Uh, there's only one of why, you, why Mr. Is Dude. He, why is who, he... Where did we find him? Was he on the streets? Are we, are we doing charity work now? Why, what is he doing? He, he's been set up for this debate for several minutes now, Mr. Burgundy. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right, you guys have a minute. Please elaborate on your answers. Why is Little Toaster more scary than The Big Lebowski and vice versa? The Big Lebowski is scarier because my opponent stars in it. And if you look at him, Mr. Longarini, he is terrifying. He doesn't believe in anything. He has no morals. He doesn't even play an instrument. I bet he's going to debate me tonight. Than and than he won't even toaster. vote. You know what? Mr. Not Burgundy, playing an instrument is, is scarier than a living toaster. Yes, not playing an instrument and not caring about society is scarier than Man, a toaster. Man, I lived through five world wars, and that's not as scary as the brave five, little toaster. Five, five. Can you even count? There's been four. Uh, Idiot. Oh. Uh, I'm actually going to agree with him on that point. There's actually. Been All right, four. we'll have to get our fact checks on four right. wars. Right. The brave little okay. toaster. The brave little toaster. When I go and make toast every morning, because that's all. I don't own an oven. Oh my um, goodness. I just, you know. I can't do it, man. Let me let know, me tell I you things about. Things are easy for you in your Caucasian society. If you can't even. But me. Oh, as are we a pulling that card Asian now? American, is that where we're going? Really feel that this is unacceptable. Unacceptable. You're all right, unacceptable. All right. This is all the time we have for this question. Moving on. We've seen several disasters over the last few years that have left the country in shambles. Mm -hmm. Now, if by some miracle you were elected president. How could you prevent such disasters such as Kevin Spacey's Nine Lives or the mini movie, starting with Mr. Dude? Thank you, Howie. You've been a great moderator so far. Um, I just want to start by saying that I think the idea of government is a sham. And I don't think, especially the idea of corporate news over here. Wrong. If I, if I were to be president, which, I mean, I All should wrong. be. I should be. But if I were to oh, be president, goodness. I would make sure that every day Every person would have to go to the government and just smile, you know? They would have to go in front smile. of a government official, look them in the eyes, and just smile, you know? Because we need more of that in this world. All right. Thank you, Mr. Dude. Mr. Burgundy, if you were elected president, how could you prevent disasters such as Nine Lives and the Minions movie? Let, let me tell you, I, I know about disasters. And disasters, yes, Nine Lives was bad, of course. But the Big Lebowski oh, was my a, Lord. a crisis. Stay on topic, Mr. Oh, Burgundy. All right, all right. listen. OK, disasters. Anchorman was not a disaster. You want to talk about greatest comedies of all time? You're looking at it, all right? Now, disasters. Me as president, I know but the what news. what about grown-ups, Mr. Burgundy? Man, I'm not grown -ups. Only, I am I'm like 60% stoned, and you have not answered the question. That is, that is a grown-up. Do you want grown-ups like that? No. No, you do not. I will tell you, Mr. Nathaniel, is that, a, is that your Christian name? It, it I is. believe so. I like to think so. I know about this country, and I know what's best for it. And I know the best people who make the right, best movies like and the least, All right, we least are disasters. Out of time. Like the floor is now open to both I of you. I think I just won. We haven't the heard specifically yes. what you would do as president I to just stop told you. future disaster I, movies. I know yeah, people. I, I, I'm not an expert, man, at debates and stuff, but clearly. I something is better than nothing. And you um, can fact check that with well, my you know other what? friend, dot org. He, you know what? he handles other things. I'm I think, I think what, the Coen brothers did your movie. I think they should have done nothing, because nothing would have been better than something over the Big Lebowski. Yes. How do you know Coen? Coen? Please, do I, I know Coen? I thought I was the only one Cohen's, that saw Coen. They're, they're the best directors, and I know the best directors, Mr. Dude. So you just said that my directors are the best? They did a good movie that I saw once with... My child, Your who I love very last, much. Man, your director's last name is Mk. Mk. Adam Mk. You know That's what? Are you even man? speaking Gentlemen, English? Gentlemen, please stay on topic. Um, but to you know what? To follow, you know I don't. I don't like his tone a, with me. I'm it's offensive and it's hurtful. To my, Mr. To my theoretical bill. All right. Thank hugs. you for your policy-related answer is he there. Even talking about? Moving on. Mr. Burgundy. Yes. Your dog Baxter is a popular character him. and has I'm accomplished much for the Spanish dog relationships in the United States. I love him. Now, other than Baxter, what, in your opinion, is the best animal sidekick to appear in film? Now, now, Mr. Longarini, do you have a dog? 
I do not. You do not. Well, then you can't possibly pose this question. You can't possibly understand what a dog, I'm speaking for how the a dog can be here, a man's best friend. Excuse me. I'm, a dog is a man's best friend. And if you do not have one, I feel sorry for you, Mr. Moderator, because my friend Baxter is the best one in the world. I love him so much. And I almost lost him once, and I would never let that happen again. Excuse me. I need a drink. Oh, would you right. bring liquor? Moving on. <laughs> What is going on? Thank you. The Dude Nader. Oh. In your opinion, what is the best animal sidekick to appear in film? Thank you for that question, Steve. Honestly, I would pick Robin, Batman's, because really, animals are humans too. Plus, he's named after a bird, you know? So he's a human animal, because we all have that animalistic side inside of, in front of us, and he saw his parents murdered, you know? My goodness. That's, that's some messed up stuff. His, his dog just Does the over fact a that he's human he he's kind of disqualify him from that question, though? Um, it depends how you define an animal. And I think you're being really discriminatory right now. And I'm honestly kind of offended, Pat. Okay. Well, you have a minute to decide amongst yourselves what is the best animal sidekick to appear in film. Leave it, leave it to the worst character in the worst movie to bring up leave it to Batman Peter. and Robin, the second worst movie ever made. Are you kidding me with this? Look at, look at him. Why, are, why am I even up here with him? I should be elected already as the news, as the anchor man. I built the wheel, okay? My the dog wheel is just a construction you know why, of the government. You know why dogs to are the best. People to buy cars. Excuse, excuse me, I was. You're interrupting me. Do you know why dogs are the, the best? Do you know why dogs are the this best? This is the interrupting excuse section. Me, excuse me. Do you know why dogs are the best? My dog Baxter speaks Spanish. Okay, he can eat a wheel of cheese. Can so, you? Man, I'm never going to need can you to do know that? Spanish in my life. Can I love you do my that? Country. I, I, Baxter loves his country almost as much as I love mine. Okay, do you? You're not even going to vote after this. That's what you're not going to do. I told you what I'm going to do to vote. I just go to into the booth, they just let me walk in, and I you're just not, write no. You're not going to do. And then that's where did, good. Where did you come you know, from? I've taken my two cents. Who raised you? Who raised you? I've raised taken you? my two cents, but in closing. Two cents. Robin, that's probably all you have, you Robin, poor people. Robin, human, animal, think about it. Okay. Eat. Think about well, it. Well, gentlemen, this think is all it. the time we have for our main round. We will now Nailed be going it. to our rapid fire round, which will cover as many questions as we can in the remaining time. So please Race. be brief in your statements and in your responses. Of course. First question. Hmm. What is the most memorable movie quote? Starting with Mr. Dude. You're an asshole by me to you. Well played. <laughs> well played. But you see, the most memorable quote is obviously from Anchorman. You can take any line of dialogue and it is obviously the greatest. Great Odin's Raven. Baxter, bark twice if you're in Milwaukee. Oh. Chuck full of them. What do you have? Any line? What do you have? Any, any line? Any. Look, Ron, over there. That's a memorable Great line, one. man. Great one. Over where? Look, it's timeless. It can be in, in any situation. All right, let's move on to the next question. Who is the hottest hunk in Hollywood? Oh. Starting with you, Mr. Burgundy. Um, I'd have to go with Justin Timberlake. Care okay. to elaborate? He's, he can do everything. I deliver this the news, but he does every, everything else. confirm that. He does everything else. I'm sorry, Mr. Lebowski, we're going to move on to the next question because well, well, that's the right my, answer. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say Bieber because he's young. Now, out of the two Whoa. of you, who would fare better in a haunted house? He's going to oh. say him. Obviously me. Am I going first? Of course I'm going first. I'm Ron Burgundy. Yeah, nobody asked. I have Jack Johnson and Tom O'Leary right here. And in a haunted house, who would fare better? A ghost? A mummy? No. Jack Johnson and Tom O'Leary. You say those names, man. I'm friends with Dennis Leary. Dennis Leary. And you know, he was he, in Rescue Me, man, and he got in and out of buildings that were on fire. He looks like an animal. What are you Just got? like you. You've got a dog. You can't ride that dog You're anymore. damn right I have a dog. His name is Baxter, and you will not offend him. Oh, really? His name is Baxter? I've yes. only heard it 20 times, man. He's All the right, best. All right, next question. Get a grip. What is the worst movie to see with your parents, starting with you, Mr. Dude? Mm, that's a tough question. I would say... Mother's Day, which came out this year, because I didn't really have a mother as a child. And you know, if there's a kid in the house, you know, that he's visiting, and he just wants to like hang out with his friends and they put on Mother's Day, he's gonna feel bad because he doesn't have a mother. So just keep that in mind, folks. Right, Mr. I thought this was a lightning round, not an essay. I think the worst one, and let me tell you, I know about the worst movies, and it's The Big Lebowski. You cannot watch that movie with your parents. It's rated R, it's foul mouth, it's violent, and quite frankly, it's dangerous to society. All right, thank well, you, you, Mr. Burgundy. You cannot watch that message. movie on any circumstances. Final question, what is my favorite color and why? That's a trick question. 
Not you burnt. are, you do not discriminate, nor do I. You love all colors, as I do. But generally, the American flag and burgundy. All right. I was going to say not burgundy, but now that since you've said that. It's burgundy. You like rainbow. You're Wrong. a rainbow guy. Wrong. He rainbow likes burgundy. Right. I'm seeing a rainbow right Color now. Color me rainbow guy. confused. That'll do it for the Middle Seats 2016 Halloween debate. If you liked what you saw, please give us an email here. Next time, the boys will be reviewing the latest from Marvel, Doctor Strange. Tonight, we've seen a lot of stupidity and laughed a lot, but let's be honest. This isn't anything compared to what's really happening in the world right now. Make sure you get out and vote. Happy Halloween, good night, and God bless America, MCTV, and Outside the Box. Oh, that's a load of horseshit. Uh, Are you kidding me? Opinion, Are you man. kidding me? Oh my god. Stupidity. Oh. I'll give you stupidity. Oh, I know goodness. Brick and he Get knows stupidity. The show. Poser. <laughs> no. <laughs> Could you still walk like Kevin no matter what? Like, <laughs> what do you want me to do? You, do you give the first line of your life? Oh, we're actually running. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Ask God it to death? There's no way we can... something... <laughs> <laughs> you guys are doing pretty good so far. Though. Who's Ouija or Genevieve? God, I look at Kevin. <laughs> I can't look at Kevin. I'm starting this whole mess. Oh, Wait, I, think I, I was moving the mask. I'm sorry. Kevin. Y'all got it. Like Kevin. Kevin. Rolling? Yeah. Quiet, guys. Rolling? And action. <laughs> and I wouldn't have, I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling adults. <laughs> I was recording on that. <laughs>